This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 28th of October. I'm James Spann. The rain we had this morning is gone. Next rain issue at the end of the week, and the question is, will it wash out the trick-or-treaters, and will there be severe weather? Getting better clarity, so lots of answers we hope we can provide. Let's go right to some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. As we look out the old weather window, that's coming from Chihaw State Park, looking south from the restaurant there. The sky cloudy, but the rain is gone, and that's a spooky-looking cloud for Halloween week. Undulatus asperatus clouds over West Alabama this morning. That was over Tuscaloosa. Uh, those are often seen in a stable air mass on the backside of a departing rain mass. Uh, kind of similar to a gravity wave type setup, but they're harmless. No severe weather with that. That was about uh, 7 o'clock this morning. That's a Gadsden Sky Cam. Bit of uh, filtered sunshine beginning to peek through there. And look at that. On the Alabama Gulf Coast, a cloudless sky. That's our Sky Cam at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab looking out over the Gulf. And nothing beats a fall day on the Gulf of Mexico. You can see how it's clear over southeast Alabama. Places like Montgomery and Auburn and Dothan, Andalusia, they've had no clouds today and no rain. Uh, down on the Alabama Gulf Coast, they're sunny, but clouds are still kind of hanging tough over some of the northern counties, but those clouds will break up this evening. These temperatures were at about midday today. Uh, did this a little earlier than usual. We still had some upper 50s at that point, but look at Montgomery. They got 78 flirting with 80, and we're going to warm up, no doubt about that. We'll be in the upper 70s tomorrow, and up this way, some places around here could touch 80 on Wednesday. Temperatures around the nation, though, very cold up north. I mean, that's big-time cold for October over Montana, the Dakotas. I mean, we'll keep an eye on that air mass, and uh, they're getting up for a, getting uh, geared up for a big winter storm over Montana. Winter storm watches and warnings cover much of the state there. Also some snow down into the mountains of Colorado and Utah as well. On the warm sector of this thing, a slight risk of severe weather this afternoon and tonight. Parts of the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma up into central Kansas. Tomorrow, a slight risk over parts of West Texas, Southwest Oklahoma. Day three, this is Wednesday, a severe weather risk. Abilene and Dallas-Fort Worth, Wichita Falls, sherman Denison, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Wichita. And then on day four, this is Thursday, a severe weather risk uh, for Memphis, Jackson, Nashville, Muscle Shoals, Tupelo, Columbus, Starkville. You can see how northwest Alabama is involved in that, but the latest data really suggesting it might be after midnight, Thursday night, before the storms get in here, and they should be weakening at that time. But again, we're still a few days out there, and there's a lot of uh, small-scale issues we can't resolve this far in advance. We'll take a look at the very specific details on this event coming up. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, showing rain amounts of about 1 to 1 and a half inches here, heavier totals to the south and west. All right, model fans, let's check the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock local time. This is at 500 millibars. Big trough in the west, and that's the one that's going to bring rain in here before the week is over. Upper high over the Gulf and ridging beginning to build, so accordingly we think the day will be dry and the day will be warmer. Both models are spitting out upper 70s tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, uh, we've got 81 coming off both the NAM and the GFS. That might be a smidgen warm, but still, it's going to feel warm, certainly for the end of October, especially after we were in the 20s on Saturday morning. Surface low developing on the Kansas-Nebraska border, with showers and storms erupting down in the warm sector through parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Kansas. Let's go to Thursday. This is Thursday at 1 o'clock local time, Halloween. Surface low, 993 millibars north of Madison, Wisconsin. Trailing front uh, down to about Dallas-Fort Worth. And during the day Thursday, showers and storms are likely for, <coughs> for places like Memphis, Little Rock, and Shreveport. During the day Thursday, a reasonable chance we stay dry. Uh, the high well up in the 70s. And again, somebody might touch 80 during the day on Thursday. Now, this is Thursday evening at 7 o'clock local time. Showers and storms creeping into northwest Alabama, but you get the idea, and you know, the, the, the European's been slower. It could very well be the bulk of the showers and storms come in after midnight Thursday night. And if that's the case, the trick-or-treaters will be dry. It's going to be a close call, but what we're going to say in our uh, written discussion, uh, the main window for showers and storms opening up at about 9 o'clock Thursday night for this part of the state. And mostly the trick-or-treaters have ended their thing by then. 
This is Saturday, or I'm sorry, Friday morning, just after midnight, Thursday night, 1 a.m. Friday. Showers and storms blowing through. The surface low is pretty far north of here. It's uh, up there at the northern tip of Michigan. And then this is Friday at 1 o'clock. Showers and storms are generally south of the line from Anniston to Selma to Grove Hill. Uh, let's check the NAM. Uh, you know, the NAM only extends out to 84 hours. So this is the you know farthest out we have with the NAM. This is 7 o'clock Thursday evening, and it, it agrees pretty well with the slower European. It's got the main band of storms still around Memphis and the Mississippi Delta. So I think that timing looks pretty good for now. We'll say the main window for rain and storms, 9 p.m. Thursday, 9 o'clock Thursday night until 12 noon on Friday. Now, what about severe weather? Let's take a look. This is going to come off the NAM model, valid Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. This is just a look at the various parameters we see for severe weather. First off, this is the low-level jet. This is the projected uh, winds at about 5,000 feet off the ground. And uh, we've got a 50-knot jet max coming up through uh, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, and western Tennessee. So uh, the low-level jet is certainly adequate for severe weather, and that will be shifting in here late Thursday night. The NAM is more aggressive with the shear, no doubt about that. This is the 0 to 1 kilometer shear. And again, this is Thursday evening at 7 o'clock local time. The bigger numbers are still off to the west, and those will kind of advect in here late Thursday night. And no doubt as the dynamics lift north, these parameters should weaken late Thursday night. But late in the day, they're pretty impressive. The bulk shear numbers are also higher. Uh, this has got 50 knots of bulk shear from the surface to about 5,000 feet around Memphis. So uh, I would say our friends in the Mid-South, you know, Memphis, maybe down to Greenville, Mississippi, and up toward Jackson, Tennessee, maybe Paducah, Kentucky, they'll have to look out for the possibility of a few tornadoes Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening. I don't think we have a big problem with tornadoes here. Uh, is all of this will weaken late Thursday night as the storms creep in here. And this is the main limiting factor. This is the instability of the surface-based cape, and uh, it's just barely scratching uh, the positive side here. The really higher instabilities Thursday evening are way down in the western Gulf, and I don't know if any of that can move up in here. Uh, this is suggesting we could see surface-based cape values of 500 to 750 joules. And yes, we can have severe weather with that, but you've got to have tremendous dynamic forcing to go with it. So all in all, it's still not a you know major threat. I'd say it's somewhat marginal, but there certainly could be some strong storms, especially over northwest Alabama Thursday night. And again, for us, our part of the state, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, I'd say the main window, 9 o'clock Thursday night until noon Friday. And of course, be sure and check every you know discussion here, every video. Things could get different as we get closer. But we're very confident the weekend will be nice, but cooler. That's a pretty good cool air advection scheme there. Saturday, pretty cool north wind. The high will drop in the 60s, and on Sunday, we'll probably drop down to about 40 Sunday morning. The high Sunday will stay in the 60s. The weekend should feature a good supply of sunshine both Saturday and Sunday. Cool and dry as we get into the month of November. Monday of next week, a week from today, we're still dry. Showers and storms beginning to erupt back off to the west in that warm air advection pattern. Go out there a few more days. This is Thursday, the 7th of November. Pretty good cold front passing through here with a batch of showers and storms. And then on the 13th of November, a zonal flow across the country. And down below that, the air very cold up north. That's a, uh, uh, what is that thing, a 1039 uh, millibar high. That's very cold air over the Dakotas. But with a zonal flow, it's not going to really get down in here. That would be... You know, fairly comfortable for us if that happens to be correct. And that's a big if because we all know this is in the land of voodoo. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless.